Hi guys, good morning. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm Joy Williams, Master Artist and Educator with Farouk Systems. And today I'm super excited to be here with you guys. Thank you for joining us on Chi Academy Online as we talk about our newest innovation. I'm super excited about this and by the time I'm done, you're gonna be as well. It's our Chi Bond Plus Lightener, our bleach and shine and our bond and seal system. So we've already started on our model here. We all can see our lips, but we've already started with our balayage technique just so that you can see Power of the lifting. I've only got a few minutes with you guys, so I want to make sure that I finish this final quadrant with you all. But before we get into our practical, I want to talk about some theory because, guys, this is super, super important that you guys understand this. So, our Chi Bond, I'm sorry, Chi Bond Plus Lightning System is infused with our hemp oil, aloe vera, and our ultramarine blue and violet pigments. Those are our three main key ingredients, okay? So, go ahead and take notes. Also, guys, if you have any questions, any comments, guys, make sure that you're commenting below. We wanna make sure that you understand everything that I've said. If I've missed something, please let me know. Let's go ahead and ask questions, okay? I wanna hear from you, okay? So go ahead and start typing now. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I wanna hear from you. So make sure that you are asking your questions, making your comments, and we'll be sure, if I can't answer them on live, we'll go ahead and make sure that we do that afterwards, all right? But this is gonna be our new Chi Bond Plus Lightning, this is our bleach and shine. So I'll give you a little bit about theory so that we can understand what we're talking about here, okay? So as I said, we have our key ingredients. We're gonna have our hemp oil, which hemp oil, if you guys have been paying attention to media or news or anything, it's so trending right now and that's for good reason. Hemp oil is infused with our fatty acids such as omega-6, 3, and 9. Okay, we also have our proteins. So it's a super rich in proteins. That's gonna help to strengthen the hair as we're lifting, all right? And we also have our vitamins and our nutrients, guys. We're gonna be able to get nine plus levels of lift. Yeah, that's what I said. Nine or more levels of lift with one session, okay? So our hemp oil is gonna help to really moisturize and strengthen that hair. It's gonna be super beneficial for our hair as we're lifting because again, it's gonna prevent breakage while we're lifting. When you're lifting that many levels, you wanna make sure that we're keeping the hair healthy, that we're keeping it um, nice and, I'm sorry, <laughs> keeping it nice and moisturized, okay? So we've got our hemp oil. There's another thing, I'm gonna repeat myself a lot because I wanna make sure we've got people that are joining us from all over the country, hey friends, all over the world, hey friends, and some people may come in at different times, so I'm gonna be repeating myself a lot. So I'll ask you guys to comment that you can hear me, okay? So we have our hemp oil, got that down, right? So quick feedback, fatty acids, omega-369, proteins, nutrients, vitamins, got it? All right, so our next is gonna be our aloe vera. Our aloe vera, as we know, we put it on everything, right? Like we put it on our skin, we put it on our hair, we put it on our boo-boos, on our bumps, um, but it really helps to moisturize, all right? So aloe vera is gonna be infused with amino acids. It's gonna be infused with vitamins. It's gonna be infused with nutrients, all right? That's gonna help to improve the elasticity of the hair. Again, when we're going so many levels at one time, we wanna make sure that the elasticity, which we know, I'm talking to professionals, which we know is the ability of the hair to stretch before it breaks. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we have that elasticity, that rubber band effect, that it can stretch without breaking, all right? So we're gonna strengthen and improve the elasticity with those vitamins and nutrients. Here's the other thing that aloe vera has, and not a lot of us know why it works. If you think about an aloe vera plant, it grows in the desert, right, like in dry conditions. And if you were to crack it open in the middle of the desert, you're gonna have all this nice um, aloe vera gel, right? It's very moisturized, it's gonna retain the moisture. And it's doing that in a dry climate. How is that? It's because it has natural humectants. Those natural humectants, if you're a nerd like I am, you wanna know what those are. Those are gonna be water, sugar, and polysaccharides, okay? So that water, sugar, and polysaccharides is gonna make up our natural humectants. It's gonna pull moisture from the air. That's what it's gonna do for the hair. It's gonna help the hair to retain moisture. So again, as we're lifting nine or more levels of lift, we also wanna retain moisture. Because here's the thing, guys, you can get someone blonde, no problem. How is it gonna look when it gets there, right? So that's the major thing. So we wanna make sure that the hair is shiny, that it's healthy, that it's strong, that it still has that body, it still has resilience, and it doesn't feel like we don't want noodle hair in the shampoo bowl, right? So we wanna make sure that it's strong, that it's healthy, and that we're keeping those bonds intact, okay? Then our final um, key ingredient is gonna be our ultramarine blue and violet pigments. Now notice I said blue and violet, okay? So in the past we may have just had blue, however, it's important when you're going through levels of lift, again, we're talking to professionals, we're talking people that are going to do level one, level two, all the way up 
our, our level chart, right? So we're going to be able to go through, but what do you do? What do you, what do you see when you're lifting? You have those underlying pigments, right? Those pigments that start off red and then they go orange and then they go red or, you know, red orange and then they're orange and then they're yellow orange and then they're yellow. And then finally we get to this pale that everyone wants, right? We have the platinum, the beiges, the champagne blondes that are super, super trending. We want to make sure that as we go up that we're addressing each and every underlying pigment that we get to. Okay, as we go up that chart. So our blue and violet underlying pigments, again, come on with the color theory. Guys, talk to me. What does, what does um, blue cancel out? Somebody type it. Orange. All right. And what does violet cancel out? Type it. We're interacting today. I'm not going to do all the work. Y'all going to help. <laughs> we're, so violet cancels out yellow, right? So we're going to be able to address as we go up that level chart. When you get around a level seven or eight, you're going to be dealing with orange, right? When you get up to nine or 10, you're going to be dealing with yellow. So we want to make sure that as we go up that level chart, that we're addressing each and every one of those underlying pigments. So that way you're not, you don't take out the orange, but you still have these brassy tones. Clients can't stand to have brassy hair. So we want to make sure that we get to those nice tones. So you're lifting nine plus levels and you're toning at the same time. You have your Omega-369, you have your, your proteins, your nutrients, and your vitamins with your hemp oil, and then you have your moisture, your improved elasticity, your strength with our aloe vera. This is a total game changer, okay? The other thing that I love about it, I want you to smell this, darling. This is Christina. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It smells really good. Right? And it's her first time experiencing it today. What I can tell you is that it has such a pleasant, fresh mm -hmm. sort of fragrance. It's not too flowery or too fruity. It's just very, very, a nice, fresh fragrance. One thing that I can tell you from using it as well is that it's a much lighter powdery formula, okay? So it comes in powder as of now, and it's much lighter. So it mixes well, it's very creamy, the consistency is awesome, and I'm gonna show you in a second after we get through talking about theory, what that consistency looks like and how you can adjust it to what you need. Because that's the other thing I love about it is that, so we're all creatives, right? And so most of the time we're like, we flow all over the place, we're like butterflies, we flower, we're like flower children, right? But one of the things that creatives, and people don't know this about us, we love control. We like to control our outcome. We like to control what our color is going to look like. We like to control what our hair is going to look like. And so what I love about our Cheap Bleach and Shine is that it's going to give us, in our Cheap Bond Plus Lightning system, it's going to give us the ability to really control. And so with Cheap, you're able to color with confidence. Okay, so you want to make sure that we understand that, that you're able to color with confidence. Okay, so we'll talk about really quickly our two featured products in our Chi Bond Plus Lightning System. This is going to be our Chi Bleach and Shine and our Chi Bond and Seal. Okay, so our Chi Bleach and Shine, again, has that hemp oil, has that aloe vera. What does hemp oil do? Again, I'm going to repeat myself a few times just so that everybody can understand. Hemp oil is going to give us our fatty acids, our proteins. Those things are super rich. That's going to allow the hair to build and re repair those bonds. Anytime you're, you're going to do a chemical service, guys, those disulfide bonds are broken, right? We want to be able to repair that. So we're going to be able to do that with our hemp oil, okay? It's going to help to repair those bonds. In addition, it's going to help repair the keratin bonds that's in the hair. So we know, we understand the cysteine bonds, the disulfide bonds, the keratin bonds in the hair, okay? So we want to make sure that we're repairing those as we're going through. Here's the other thing. A lot of times, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more with our bond and seal, is that when you're using maybe some bond builders that are on the market, it affects your formula, right? So if you use a 20, you have to up to a 30 because it knocks it down. If you use a 30, you have to up to a 40 because it knocks it down. You are able to control, there's that word again, exactly what your outcome is because our new Bleach and shine, our bond and seal is going to protect those bonds, keep those bonds intact. It's a natural bond builder, but it's not going to affect your formula. That is huge because how many times you will already go through all your things in your head of your formulations, and then you want to go back and have to, you know, overcompensate. So we want to make sure that we're working smarter, not harder. All right. I love that she thinks of everything for us. So we're able to do that. In addition, we're going to have a low pH. So we have that hemp, we have that aloe in there. Um, and then we have the ultramarine blue and violet pigments. Like I said, that's going to help to lighten the hair as well as tone it at the same time. We're going to get nine plus levels of lift. Someone probably is already asking, what's the mixing ratio? The mixing ratio is one to 1.5. Okay. So one part of your bleach and shine, 
to 1.5 of your generator. And we can use, of course, we're using our same generators we've been using, 10, 20, 30, and 40, all right? But we're gonna, and we know, you know, our generators are times two, so a 20 will give you up to four levels, a 30 will give you up to six, and our 40 will give, you, give us up to eight, and with this, with the 1.5, it's gonna give us nine or more, okay? So we're able to do that. Here's the other thing, so I'm a nerd. Y'all know me, if anybody knows me knows I'm a nerd. And one of the things that I liked that I did before um, coming on today was that I looked up the molecular structure. Now I won't get too sciencey because I can really go there, but just to give you an understanding of what this looks like at the molecular level and why our bond works the way that it does. So a, the molecular structure, the molecular shape of our hemp oil is a hexagon molecule. So if you've ever seen a hexagon, it's got six sides, right? So it's, there's there, here, right? It almost looks like two triangles stacked on top of each other. Guys, remember, and we're not replacing our blonde is blonde. So remember our blonde is blonde, we had our silk protein and that was a triangular molecule, okay? So that's stacked on top of each other. Now we're dealing with the hexagon molecule, okay? So that's gonna have six sides. Each of those flat sides is gonna bond to the next side. So when you have those six flat sides and you have that hexagon molecule, are you gonna have any gaps? Are you gonna have any holes in the hair? It's not circular, right? So those are gonna be able to bond like Tetris, I'm dating myself. It's gonna be able to bond right on top of each other, okay? So you're not gonna, it's gonna go in and help to fill all of those gaps. It's gonna fill the hair shaft. It's gonna make sure that any weak areas, it's gonna be nourished and moisturized, okay? So we're really able to get that with our hemp oil. And then of course our aloe vera is gonna go in and with those amino acids, it's gonna go back in and bond those, those keratin bonds back together. It's gonna help to repair them, okay? So then we have our bleach and shine, and we'll talk a little bit more about it as we go. Um, and then we also have our bond and seal. Now this stuff is gold, okay? This is liquid gold. I'm just, we gonna call it bond and seal, AKA liquid gold, all right? So this is what I love about our bond and seal. First and foremost, it has a pH of 3.0 to 3.5. Somebody type, and tell me, what is a 3.0 to 3.5 pH gonna do for us? I'm serious, somebody type. So a 3.0 to 3.5 pH is gonna help to close the cuticle, right? It's gonna help to seal, it's gonna help to equalize the porosity. Our bond and seal does all of that, all of that, okay? So you're able to use it before a service to equalize the porosity. Again, that 3.0 to 3.5 is really gonna help you be able to equalize the porosity. Sometimes our clients come in the salon and they have whatever going on and we need to make sure that we equalize that porosity out, right? Here's the other thing. Here's the other two factors that I love about this. You can also use it during the service. Yeah, you can actually use it during your service. And during your service, you're gonna be able to use it to slow down your processing time. So again, we're using nine plus levels of lift. So I've had the, the bleach and shine on her hair for a little while now. So we can see some lifting action already happening. I can go in, and I'm gonna put my gloves on here in a second, but just to kind of show you, I'll just open up my little paper here. So I'll just go in, and if I want to slow down my process to give myself time to catch up, I can do that. So it gives me the option, again, there's that word again, control, okay? So we're able to control my outcome, we're able to color with confidence and know that I'm gonna get the exact result that I want. In addition, I can use it after my service and using it after my service is gonna allow me to help to seal the cuticle. So we're called bond and seal. So we're gonna keep those bond intact, bonds intact and then after my service, I'm gonna be able to seal it. Here's the other thing guys, it's super, super important. I really want you to know this. We're still able to do same day multiple services, all right? So if you're using our Chi Deep Brilliance Relaxer, if you're using our Chi Transformation, if you're using our Chi Enviro, we're using our Chi Ionic Cream Shines, cream, I'm sorry, cream color and our Chroma Shines, we're able to still do same day services with our Chi Bleach and Shine. So that's amazing. But here's the thing, now you're able to get more lifting power. Isn't that fun? So I love that. And we're also gonna make sure that that hair is nice and healthy as we're lifting. So again, bond and seal key points. We're gonna have, excuse me, we're gonna have our aloe vera. What does aloe vera do? Somebody type. Tell me what aloe vera is doing, what our features and benefits are of aloe vera. 
So our aloe vera is going to give us amino acids. It's going to give us nutrients. It's going to give us vitamins back into the hair. All of that is going to help to strengthen the hair, improve the elasticity, make sure that the hair is nice and strong as we're lifting all the way through. Then we're also going to have those natural humectants, so it's going to retain the moisture. One thing, I have the, the plastic film on now, but even in using this, this lightener over the last couple of weeks that I've used it in the salon and use it on my mannequin here, is that even as I'm going through, I'm not having to add any extra oils or add any extra developer to my bowl. It stays moisturized. And afterwards, the hair feels absolutely amazing. It's almost like a built-in hot oil treatment, to be honest with you. So those of you that are maybe fine hair and you're like, I really want to do an hot oil treatment, but I really can't, you're going to get those effects with using our cheap bleach and shine because, again, as your body heat warms it up or as you put it in plastic or foils or whatever is your method your like your way that you like to do it artist um you're also doing a super deep oil con oil um hot oil treatment as well so it's really amazing for that um and then we have our hemp oil as we talked about those fatty acids those fatty acids are going to come in huge because as you start to get lighter you start to lose some of the moisture you start to lose some of the elasticity so it's going to help to replenish that right then we have our ultramarine blue and violet pigments that's going to be able to go in and tone as we lift all the way through so once we get to past our orange then we're at yellow we're still going to be able to tone that yellow right we're going to be able to tone that brassiness out and to get to those nice beautiful sort of pale colors that we like so we have our bond and seal and again guys you can use this with any color and chemical service so whether you're using say for example you're not using bleach and shine i'm just doing cheap cheap deep brilliance i use this before as my porosity equalizer a lot of times also those of you that do relax with your textured hair you understand that there is a little part sometimes where they start to itch, they start to burn. And what do we use? Because I'm a real stylist, what, what do we normally use? Oil shame, right? Some sort of shine spray. And because of the alcohol helps to stop some of that. You can use your bond and seal to stop some of that, to help to slow down that processing time, help to stop the irritation in the scalp. Remember, aloe, skin is, uh, scalp is skin. So aloe vera does what to skin? It helps to soothe it. So as you're doing your, your relaxer system, Use your bond and seal to not only keep the bonds, prepare the bonds, but soothe the scalp. That's huge. How many times have clients have had chemical burns? How many times have you had irritated hair, irritated scalp as you're doing a relaxer system? Use your bond and seal to help to soothe that scalp. You can use it before, you can use it during, you can use it after to help seal the cuticle. That's huge. Same thing with chi transformation. You, you're doing that permanent straightening system and now, you know how many times we have to apply and rinse and apply and do all that type of stuff. And sometimes that client's scalp gets a little irritated, a little dry. Same thing, you can use this to equalize the porosity, to slow down the processing time, as well as seal the cuticle. So this can be used in conjunction with our cheap bleach and shine and by itself. This is why I said it's called liquid gold. I'll call it liquid gold. I don't know what y'all want to call it. But this is why I said this is so valuable because you can do multiple things. And if you happen to do one of those services on the same day as your cheap bleach and shine, then it's going to give you those added effects. And then you'll have the hemp oil in both the bleach and shine and in the bond and seal. Okay? So does everybody follow me on that? We got it? We're good? Ask questions. If you have any questions, they're here listening for questions. We have a question? All right. Yes, ma'am. Short answer, yes. Do I feel that using the cheap bleach and shine will become my go-to lightener over other lighteners, excluding the, high, the cheap and for high lift, right? Because that's my jam. I love that stuff. Um, depending on where I'm at, because everybody doesn't want that much levels of lift. You know, we, we like some people that just kind of like those caramel highlights or kind of stay, you know, so I, my blonde is blonde is still important. I can still use that for what I need to use it for. Um, but my cheap bleach and shine is going to have that hemp oil. It's going to have the aloe vera. It's going to have those extra nutrients and the fatty acids. And so for me, when I want to, again, work smarter, not harder, because that's one of my mantras. You'll hear me say it a lot of the times, right? So when I want to work smarter, not harder, and I want to make sure that I'm keeping the hair moisturized, then absolutely, I certainly will be using the cheap bleach and shine, guys. This stuff is amazing. Any other questions? One more. Yes. Is hemp oil like oil No. So hemp oil comes from the cannabis sativa seed oil. Okay, it comes from a cannabis plant, okay? So we know hemp, you guys are familiar with, I'm sure. Um, so we have our cannabis sativa seed oil, all right? So it is 100% natural, all right? Some other brands, so the question was, 
Is this similar to other things on the market? Our bond um, similar to other things on the market like Olaplex or some of the other ones? Um, we are 100% natural. Some of the other things, I can't speak to what other people have in their line, but what I can say is that some of the other bond builders on the market are synthesized. They're silicone or they're synthetic bonders. These are 100% natural bonders, which means it's going to help to do exactly those. Anything that's going to be synthesized or um, lab made is only emulating what something natural does anyways. So why, cut out the, why not cut out the middleman and go straight to the natural bonder, which is going to be our hemp oil? Any other questions? Yes, one more. Yes. Can you use it with our other bleach? Absolutely. The, the cheap blonde is blonde? They didn't specify. They didn't specify. Okay. So the question was, can we use it with our other bleach? Absolutely. So say, for example, we all, know, we all know the famous money piece. So in the front here, we have some baby lights. So we know that's our money piece. That's the part that keeps our clients coming back to us that's like absolutely cannot live without you. So. If I, were you, if I were doing dimensional blondes, right, and she didn't want to be, we didn't want her to be light all over. We wanted to have some money pieces here, maybe some platinums, some really icy whites. And then throughout here, we maybe want to have some gold and some caramel kind of highlights. I absolutely would. I'd use my bleach and shine and my money piece in the front, okay? And then I can use my bond, blondness blonde throughout even to kind of give a gradation. So even we're used to a gradation in the ombre being lighter at the ends going into darker or darker at the roots going into lighter depending on what you're perspective is, right? So I'm able to do that as well front to back. So I'm able to use my bleach and shine for my money piece and then go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper all the way to the back to where now at the back I may just be using color to lift. So I'm able to get those lighter ends and the, the lighter piece in the front and then do a little bit darker here, especially if you have a client that you don't want to maybe bleach their whole head. You want to just you know, lighten and give them some dimension. So absolutely, you can use it with our other color, absolutely. Uh, other bleach, I'm sorry. Thank you, Joy. We have people from all over the world watching this. So awesome. Some state, okay. Some country. Hi, friends from all over the world. Hello. Florida. Florida. Hey, Florida. Michigan. Michigan. Hey. Texas. Hey, Texas in the house. South Carolina. Nice. Hi, South Carolina. South Carolina. Very cool. We have Mexico. Hey, Mexico. Mexico, my friends. Oh. Woohoo. Yes. <laughs> Germany. Hi, Germany. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Again, keep those questions coming. As I said, for those of you that have been watching from the beginning, you will hear me repeat myself a lot. And that's because I want to make sure that all of our friends were all on the same page. I also know that repetition brings reinforcement. So you got to hear it a few times for you to get it, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and repeat that a few times. So we're going to go ahead and get into, and then I'll, I'll briefly mention our, um, New line, so today we're going to be shampooing her with our Chi Infra Shampoo and Infra Treatment, which we know and love, right? Has the low pH, all that great stuff, silk. We are actually in the final stages of formulating our Chi Hemp Hair Care line. I'm going to tell you right now, when it hits the shelves, it's going to sell out, okay? First and foremost, it's our Chi Hemp and Hair Care line. It's our cleansing shampoo, our moisture recovery conditioner, and our soothing hair and scalp serum. It is vegan. Hey, vegans. So... There's no silk in it, but it's going to have our hemp oil, okay? So our hemp oil is going to replace the silk in this, spa in this space, okay? So it's going to be our cannabis sativa seed oil that's going to give us our fatty acids, it's going to give us our proteins, nutrients, and vitamins, help to strengthen the hair and repair those bonds, both our um, keratin bonds and repair some of our disulfide bonds, okay? So we're going to have our cleansing shampoo because you want to make sure, especially after you do a lightning service, you get a good shampoo to make sure that you get all of it out, right? So it's going to be great for our cleansing shampoo. Then we have our moisture recovery. Um, and so we have our moisture recovery conditioner that's going to help to go in. So our tagline for our Chi Hemp Hair Care is soothe, nourish, and protect. That's exactly what we're doing. We're soothing the hair, we're nourishing it with our conditioner, and then we're protecting with our soothing hair and scalp serum. So look for that. It's going to be vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, guilt-free, right? All of that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you look out for that because it's going to be amazing. And again, it's something that can be used in a wide variety, not just after lightning services, but if you have a client that needs moisture that is a, lot of, a little bit more dry or they've had some, you know, a chemical service like a relaxer or they've had a transformation system and it's, it's a little dry, you can use that She Hemp hair care line to really be able to infuse moisture in the hair and also infuse the power of hemp and aloe vera because the hemp, the hemp hair care line is going to have our key ingredients, our hemp oil, our aloe vera, but it's got a couple of other things. It's got our avocado oil 
which if you guys are familiar with avocado oil, I love eating it, uh, eating avocados, but avocado oil has vitamin E, has a high concentration of vitamin E. What vitamin E is going to be able to do is that it's been scientifically proven to reverse and heal sun damage. So a lot of the times, especially in Texas, you know, right now it's gloomy, but tomorrow it might be 90 degrees, right? So if we're out and we're exp experiencing the effects of sun and heat on our hair, then it's gonna help to be able to uh, re re repair that and reverse some of that sun damage. As well as avocado oil is also rich in our oleic acid. It's gonna have our money saturated fats. It's gonna have our proteins, it's gonna have our vitamins. So avocado oil is super huge. The other thing about avocado oil is much lighter than some of the other oils. So we're able to use it on all hair types and textures because I'm talking about all this oil and I can just hear all of my fine hair people going, I can't use it. It's gonna weigh me down. Oh my God. <laughs> so it absolutely will not do that. Okay. So we'll be able to use that. In addition, we have our sea kelp. If you don't know anything about seaweed or sea kelp, you want to pay attention to that. So our sea kelp in our chi hemp hair care line is going to be able to um, moisturize the hair and it has all the vitamins and nutrients that you want. When we talk about vitamins, I'm talking about vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, C, D, E. That's just a small list of the vitamins. Then we have our minerals, which is going to be our zinc, our iron, our calcium. Seaweed, sea kelp has 10 times more calcium than milk. So guys, understand that he, here at, Ch at Chi Hair Care, we are all about organics and making sure that we give the hair exactly what we need. So I'm going to go ahead and get started finishing up this last section. So if you can see real quickly, I don't know if you can see me as I come around here. Can you see me guys? So we have our, don't talk about my drawing. We have our, uh, our page here where we're gonna talk about how we did our sectioning, right? So we start off with just angle sectioning. So we're gonna do a diagonal back both ways, bring that hair down, then we're gonna go across the section, okay? Same thing again, diagonal back in both ways, bring that hair down. You're gonna do your balayage, whether you do in a triangle like that on both sides, which is what I did, or whether you do a V-shape kind of pattern. Say for example, the next one you may wanna do a V-shape sort of pattern. So you can do that. You just make this be whatever you need it to be. Just make sure that you go back across here and I have the lines here, it kind of looks like a baseball now that I'm looking at it. But at, at, you can make these weaves, this line that's straight across this section, this subsection, you can make that weaves, you can make it one long balayage section, you can do your V-shape, whatever it is that you want to do, okay? That's going to get your whole back section in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections, your whole back, okay? So that's huge because, again, we're working smarter, not harder. Then on the sides, we're going to come around and so we're gonna do baby lights, which is what she has in the front of her hair. We're gonna bring those baby lights down all around the hairline, around the ears, around the front. You're gonna do two to three sections of your baby lights, two to three subsections of your baby lights. You wanna have that impact right in the front, right? Right at that front hairline. I'm doing it all the way around the hairline because I also wanna make sure that no matter where she turns her hair, you're able to see that impact, that statement piece. And then from here, we're going to do our diamond shape section, which I'll show you now. So I already have our color mixed here. So we have our 4W and our 6N. She's already started at a level five. So I didn't want to take her too far from where she is because she's not done much to her hair. So we want to make sure that we keep her, you know, in her comfort area but we wanna make sure that we give it some richness in color. So we're using our Chi Shine shades in 4W and 6N, and a four and a six gives me what? A five, right? So I'm able to keep her at her level, but giving her just a little bit of warmth in there, because that's what we want. And then I'm just mixing equal parts of, this, of the four, there we go, 10 volume, of the 4W and the 6N, and I'm using my scale I prefer a scale. I know some of you all have your, your own preferences with beakers. I prefer a scale. I feel like my scale keeps me more accurate and I'm able to get more of what I want. So I'm going to show you really quickly. We mixed our shine shades there. If you guys can see that, I don't know where, there we are. Okay. So we're just going to mix that up together. I already did the roots 
So what we did was we started off, we did roots all the way over. We did her, um, her scalp to about two inches down and then I combed it through so because we want to have a nice gradation in color, right? So now I'm going to mix our Chi Bleach and Shine. Let me come around here instead of reaching. Okay, so we have our Chi Bleach and Shine with our hemp oil, our aloe vera, our ultraviolet marine blue and violet pigments. Look at that. You see how beautiful that is? See that color? That's going to be that's going to be what what helps you work smarter not harder, okay? So, again, what's my mixing ratio, guys? 1 to 1.5, right? So one part of my lightener. Oh good, I got it right at 20 grams. Cool. So one to 1.5, one part of my bleach and shine to 1.5 parts of my developer. Um, can we get, I don't think we have a 40 up here. Because now that we've already processed down here at 30 volume, we want to make sure that I match, right? And one thing that I want to show you guys as well, techniques with your brushes. So, of course, these are my cheap brushes. But if you notice, I like to cut my brushes up because I'm a creative and I was a kid in school that cut up all the stuff. So, this is what me cutting up my cheap brushes does for me. This one gives me a concave sort of curve. I'm able to go in in areas that I want to just a light feathered. I'm, th thank you. Areas that I want to just kind of lightly touch in the lightly, like a light feathered look, I do this and it makes it so much easier. Then I have my shorter brush, just stipple, so that I can really go in and apply at the root. And then I have my angled, okay? So just a tip, if you guys want to do that, it will change the way that you color for sure. So we're going to go in. So if you see here in my diamond section, you see my diamond? You guys see that? Want to make sure that you can. Okay. So I came in here. I did my angle here, both diagonal backs and then across. Diagonal backs and across all the way up to where I got here. All right. We did baby lights across the front. And then these two sections, we did an angled diagonal back with our triangular body eye section just so that everybody's with me we know what we've done so now since i've gotten my two angles what am i going to do the one that's across and guys you can take this in large sections you don't have to do 35 little bitty sections you can do smaller larger sections which give a big impact here's the thing that you want um, to see in balayage you want to make sure that you see that depth that's what balayage is. It gives you that contrast between the light and the dark. So you want to be able to see that, right? You want to make sure that when you look at this hair, you're able to see that. So you'll even see me kind of comb through with my fine tooth comb to make sure that I bring it down. Because as I go in, right, I want to make sure that I have exactly what I need. So we had our 20 grams here. Now we're going to mix our lightener. And we're going to mix 30 grams of our lightener, right? So 20 grams of our bleach and shine to another 20 grams plus another 10, right? Because I'm 1, 1 to 1.5. So I'm going to use this brush because I want to get my triangular section here. The other thing is that you can also mix, you can change and control your consistency. So this is a 1 to 1.5, but I can even go up to 1 to 2.5 if I want to, right? So if I want to make it thicker, I'm going to do my ratio of 1 to 1.5. If I want to make it thinner, my consistency, I'm able to do a mixing ratio of 1 to 2.5, okay? It, that's really going to be your artist um, your professional opinion and what you want to do as an artist. Another little trick that I like to do, and I do this in my classes, um, 
and teach. And so I want to show you guys here is that there's a little restaurant here called DQ in Texas that turns a blizzard upside down. Can your lightning do this? Yeah. So we want to make sure that we have that really good thick consistency. Okay. That again is also going to give me control when I'm lightening my clients. So I'm just going to take my angled brush and because it's at an angle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to create that angle very nicely. So I'm just going to go right on top here. Here's the other thing. We're able to go right on top of what we've created. So that's super fun because I don't have to color my client and then rinse her at the shampoo bowl and then go back and blow dry and figure out where I have my sections and lighten it all over again. So again, I'm working smarter, not harder. You can choose to use a balayage board if you want to. That's totally okay. I'm a little bit more organic because I'm a flower child, but I want to make sure that I have saturation. You see my saturation here? And then I like my angle brush because as I paint, it automatically creates the angle for me. Look at that already, guys. You see that? My angle's already created for me. Now I'll take the short end of my angled brush and just lightly feather, because I don't want to have any harsh lines. So we'll just lightly feather that, right? And so we're going to get this whole top area. I'm going to bring it back around so I can reach my bowl. We're going to get this whole top area light. And then underneath that is when we'll see our depth. So make sure around the hairline, sometimes I go underneath and on top. But in the hair, I want to make sure that I have that light in contrast with that darkness. So I make sure that I do I saturate completely at the top for my light. But I don't go all the way underneath because I need that darkness to give me depth. I need that darkness to actually show the balayage. And one of the things I have people ask all the time, oh my gosh, balayage is so hard, or I don't know if I can do this. It's literally freehand painting in angles. That's all you're doing. You're painting in angles. So if you get your sectioning down, if you get your angles down, it's super easy. Then I like to go over, this is my favorite new technique because it insulates the hair keeps my process going and it's super easy to work with so you can even see in my foil you see my angle here right so I want to make sure because this we're getting into the the lower the crown of the head the lower crown so I want to make sure that I leave some depth here right so that as she's going then I'm able to as she's growing out then it shows that light but I'm going into kind of like my effect down here my uh, triangle so then my next section it's going to be another triangle. Balayage is simply freehand painting in angles. That's it. Do not be intimidated. Don't be worried. It's freehand painting in angles. So you see my section here? OK. I'm going to calm this down because, again, I have some of my light, my, some of my color and I've already had this color mixed in but I wanted to mix you guys to show you how easy it was and how well it mixed again we're keeping that at a level five just to keep some richness do we have any questions as I'm doing this yes okay shoot I don't need to. You could, there, you know, but it's not necessary because the hemp oil and the aloe vera are going to do exactly what I need it to do. So our hemp oil, again, is going to have our fatty acids, our proteins. That protein, just like our silk has a protein, our hemp oil has proteins as well. OK, so that's going to what's going to be able to help us keep our bonds intact as we are lightening, guys. So you can add silk infusion if you want to. But you won't need to. That hemp oil is going to keep not only the hair moisturized, but it's going to stay moisturized in the bowl. 
so I don't have to worry about it drawing, uh, drying out in the bowl. Good question. One more question. Yes, ma'am. How does it compare to Blondes Blonde and Sangles in lift and texture? In lift and texture, okay. Elaborate on me when you say in lift and texture. So with our Chi Blonde is Blonde, as we know, our Blonde is Blonde goes up to what? Eight levels of lift, right? It has our silk protein, um, and so that's going to help to keep those uh, bonds intact and help to moisturize the hair. But with our Chi Bleach and Shine, we're able to get nine or more levels of lift. So we're able to go a little bit higher, than what, well, a lot higher than we, we were with our Blonde is Blonde. In addition, we have those fatty acids. We have those nutrients and those vitamins. So whereas silk is amazing, I still love silk. It has the amino acids, 17 and 19 amino acids, and all of that stuff. In addition, now we've taken it a step further, and we've gone with the hemp oil, which has proteins, but it also has vitamins, nutrients, and those fatty acids. So um, those fatty acids are going to really uh, help to keep the hair intact. And then we bring it in with our aloe vera, which is soothing for the scalp, because a lot of the times, as you're lightening, you get some irritation on the scalp, especially if you're doing from, you know, root to end application, right? You get a little irritation sometimes on the scalp. And so with having the aloe vera, it's going to help to soothe the scalp. In addition, aloe vera has amino acids, okay? So it's going to be able to strengthen the hair as well. So the, the major difference is going to be the fact that the bleach and shine is going to have a little bit more of our protein um, and protect. And we now have the bond and seal. So we have that bond and seal, which gives us our bond builders. It's a natural bond builder. Without getting too much into the science, but I got the formula from Dr. Roy. Without getting too sciencey on you, um, our bond builder is a natural, 100% natural bond multiplier. Okay, our bond multiplier is gonna help to repair those disulfide bonds, right? Just like other Bomb builders on the market, they're a bomb multiplier, but they're not natural. They may be synthesized, they may be silicone, they may be synthetic, okay? This is a 100% natural bond multiplier. It is created from the fermentation of sugar cane and an amino acid called arginine, okay? So those two together is gonna help to go in and create, help those peptide bonds and those disulfide bonds stay intact, all right? So those of you that are nerds like me and understand the science behind it, that will help you understand a little, a little bit of the difference in between Blonde is Blonde and Bleach and Shine. But essentially, we're going to talk about our ingredients. So it's going to be our Blonde is Blonde has our silk, our Bleach and Shine has our hemp and our aloe vera. And those are going to give you different qualities. One more question. Yes. It's about your application. Yes. To be clear, are you just surface painting the lightness? Yes, I am. Yeah. In the, in this, in the triangle section, to be clear, Someone asked, am I just surface painting? Yes, I am in my triangular section. Now, underneath here, I went in above and underneath because my area around the perimeter of the head is where she's going to pull it up in a ponytail. She's going to flip her hair to the left, to the right. That's the part that she's going to play with a lot. So those areas, I went both on top and underneath. In my crown, in my triangular section, I'm just surface painting because at this point, I've built in my movement in the perimeter. At this point, I just need it to flow. I just want the lightness to flow throughout, okay? So, and then I want, the, I want to see some depth because here is where you really are going to see whether she has highlights or balayage or what, you know, what that technique is. So, in my triangular section, which is the top diamond shape at the top, I'm doing surface painting. But around in these areas here, the back and then the baby lights, I did on top and underneath, so complete saturation here. That's important, great question, because you want to make sure that you understand what techniques you're using and why and what they will do for you. If I were to just surface paint around my sides, which you can, you absolutely can surface paint around your perimeter and surface paint the whole thing, but understand that you're still going to have a lot of dark, a lot of depth around your perimeter if you just surface paint around the perimeter, which is why I chose to go ahead and completely saturate it and do underneath and on top, okay? But at the top of my triangular section, this is the part that's gonna kind of flow through. Yes, I'm just surface painting. Great question. All right, so I'm gonna take my section here, and I'm gonna cover it. Keep those questions coming, guys. That's awesome.
And just to show you really quickly, let me cover up this other section before I touch something. So that you can kind of see an after. So we did a very similar technique on my mannequin here. And I did short hair so that we can see. So you see those baby lights? You see that ba those baby lights here? You see how around it's giving me the lightness, right? So in the front, I have my light. I have a little bit of depth because, again, they're baby lights, right? But just underneath that, I have some depth. You see that darkness? You see that depth? So when she's changing her hair from one side to the other, you see the light and how the light is catching it? If you flip it back over this way, you see how the light is catching it? So you want to make sure that in your top area, this is, which is why I'm just surface painting in my top area, I, I need this area to have my depth. This is the part that mostly when you start to grow out, you see that line of demarcation and it looks old, right? So you want to go ahead and create that depth already so that this grow out is really, really awesome. And we did it tone on tone for her because we didn't need her to go any lighter. She was already perfect at a five. So we just did a tone on tone, but giving her more uh, warmth and more richness to her hair color. So look at all the light that is catching here. And around my face, this is my money pieces. These are the pieces that my clients come back for. You see that? So just to kind of show you how you're able to get this in and get it done and get it done quickly. So you're able to have those money pieces in. And what do you guys think about the mannequin? Talk to me. Pop quiz. What does Hempel do? Somebody type it for me. I want to know. I want to know if you're paying attention. I want to know if you're learning something, honestly. I want to make sure that I share as much information with you guys as possible so that you can understand how our bleach and shine works, as well as our bond and seal. Again, our bond and seal is a 100% bond multiplier. You can use it before your service to be able to um, equalize the porosity. Okay. You can use it during your service to slow down your processing time. You can use it after your service to seal that cuticle. Okay. So you're able to do all those things in one. It's going to have our aloe. It's going to have our hemp oil. Okay. So that allows us to go in and remember what's the pH of bond and seal? Another pop quiz. What's the pH of bond and seal? I'm going to tell you in a second. I just want to know if you're paying attention. pH of bond and seal is 3.0. Okay, 3.0 to 3.5. So that's going to give us the ability to close our cuticle back down, okay, after we're done. Okay, so same thing again. I'm just kind of surface painting. This time I'm going to do a triangle. I might go up a little higher since I'm more so at the crown. Look how creamy the lightener still is. Even after I've had it mixed for a while, look how creamy it still is. I haven't had to add anything to it. It's still very creamy as if I just mixed it. So I love that. I love the fact that, and again, I did a 1 to 1.5 ratio. You can go up to a 2.5 ratio if you want to do 1 to 2. That's fine as long as it's, you know, between 1 to 1.5 and 1 to 2.5. So that part, you have the control as an artist with whatever you want to mix, however you want to mix it. I'm going to do, make sure I hit my angle here. But that's the part that's really fun because you're able to really create a unique masterpiece all your own. And it gives you the ability to do all these different things at one time. Again, guys, remember, this is for color and chemical services. So say, for example, you want to use our bond and seal, you're doing a relaxer. Or if you want to do it when you're doing a transformation system, any of our chemical services, it's going to really help. Our Enviro is not a chemical service, but any of our color, our... Deep Brilliance Relaxer, our Chi Transformation, that bond and seal is going to work amazingly for you. It's going to work in the same way that we're used to our Blondest Blonde working, 
in that you can do your same day color services. You can do your color, your highlights, your light, your, your lightning. You can do your uh, deep brilliance relaxer with highlights. You can do your chi transformation with your highlights. So just know that you're able to do multiple services in one day. That's going to really help to give your clients a value add that they can't get from anywhere else because they're able to get all these things from you. They don't need to wait two weeks and come back, you know? So you're really able to add that value to your business. Any other questions, guys? Make sure that you're asking questions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish her up off camera. You guys will see the after effects here. These last two sections, just to show you really quickly, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do my angle section here. This last one, I'm gonna keep straight across and I'm just gonna do surface painting, but I'm gonna do surface painting from here down. It's really more of a color melt, this last section, because I want my depth right behind my baby lights. I need that depth. So I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just gonna go and do some color melting here. So again, we're using our balayage techniques with painting with angles, painting in angles, changing your section, using your triangles, making sure that you're able to do that. We did baby lights in the front. We're able to do color melting. So that's something else that you can do if you wanna do a color melted section every other time. That's totally fine. You can do that, absolutely. So you wanna understand what techniques to use so that you can get it, get it done. We used our chi hemp and aloe oil. We used our um, aloe vera, which has our amino acids, our vitamins, our minerals, I mean our vitamins and our proteins. Then we have our hemp oil that has our fatty acids, our proteins, our nutrients. That's going to help our like omega-3, 6, and 9. It's going to help to keep it moisturized. We have our chi bond and seal, which has a pH of 3.0 that you can use before, during, or after a service. Use it during the service to slow down your processing. Before, equalize your porosity. After, helps to um, cl close that seal and seal that cuticle. Okay, then we have our Chi Hemp hair care line that you're going to love, that's vegan. You want to make sure that you keep an eye out for that. We're going to finish up with our balayage here, and you guys pay attention to our Facebook and our social media, and you'll see it after. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please, if you have questions, continue to ask them and post them, and we will answer them even afterwards. Thank you, guys. I'm Joy Williams with Farouk Systems. Have a great day.